Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our 2010 California Wrestling Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. Ron Baldwin. His presenter is a former head coach and Ron's assistant coach at Woodland High School in Sacramento, Mr. Jerry Couture. Ron Baldwin wrestled for Woodland High School from 1962 to 1966 and was a four-year varsity letterman. And by the way, Ron is the last Woodland High School athlete ever to be a four-year letterman. While at Woodland, Ron was captain and MVP for two years. In addition, he was a two-time CAF Northwest subsection placer and a two-time CAF Sac Joaquin section qualifier. After high school, Ron enrolled at Sacramento City College. He was a junior college league champion as well as a San Mateo Junior College Northern California champion. Ron was once again a two-time team captain while at Sacramento City College, and in 1968, Ron was inducted into the Sacramento Athletic Hall of Fame. Soon after, from 1968 through 1970, Ron wrestled for California State University in Sacramento. He was a team captain in 1969 and finished second at the Far Western Conference Championships in 1970. After college, Ron wrestled freestyle from 1970 through 1973. Ron then went on to coaching where he was the head wrestling coach for 20 years. Ron's teams were league champions 10 times, subsection champions five times, and section champions two times. He had a record of 137 wins and 18 losses. In addition, Ron coached seven state medalists to a top five or better finish, including a two-time California state champion, Eric Wise, as well as runner-up, Mike Monroe. Seven of Ron's wrestlers received a Division I or II scholarship, and Ron had four college All-Americans, including two NC2A champions and an Olympian in 1980. Ron was Coach of the Year in 1974 and in 1980, but Ron wasn't done yet. Ron coached at Sacramento City College in 1981 and 82 as co-head coach with Dave Pacheco, who is currently the head coach now. In 1997, Ron became the head wrestling coach at Rancho Cordova High School. Then, in 1988 and 1999, he was assistant coach at Wood Creek High School. From 2000 through 2004, Ron was a head wrestling coach at Oakmont High School in Roseville, California. His Oakmont team in 2004 captured the PVC title as well as being small school section wrestling champions. In 2005, Ron was inducted into the Woodland High School Hall of Fame. Well, guess what, Ron? Here we are five years later and you are still being recognized, except this time, it's the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, inducted into the 2010 California Wrestling Hall of Fame, Mr. Ron Baldwin. Squeak. First of all, uh, this is pretty humbling experience for me. Uh, there are so many, uh, so many people that uh, came up here before me. I was hoping that uh, we would stick to the alphabetical order because it would be easier to talk. And uh, now that I've listened to all these other guys, I kind of wonder what I'm doing up here. Um, just so many uh, talented people that uh, I've known for so many years that uh, have done such a great job with their sports and their programs. And um, I just want to uh, thank uh, the Hall of Fame committee and, and uh, the people, uh, Lynn and these people that have made wrestling what it is. And I uh, just want to say one thing really quick about when we all leave tonight, let's remember that uh, UC Davis is a, is a program that we want to see stay in Northern California and stay in California, period. And uh, we're proud of that program. And so uh, I just wanted to throw that in there. Uh, I started back when I was a freshman in high school. I was five foot whatever. Uh, that's if I had my shoes on or off. I can't remember which. But uh, uh, I was going to go out for basketball. And then uh, I ran into a guy named Elmer, Fa Elmer Pfaffenberger. It took me six months to learn how to spell his name. Uh, by the time I got to spell his name right, I learned that this gentleman was, uh, uh, was a heck of a guy. Uh, he was a workaholic, and uh, he started the program at Woodland High School. Uh, he was the first uh, coach in the, uh, uh, in the section, I think, if I believe correctly, that started ranking wrestlers and ranking the teams. And he would stay up hours after hours and weekends um, putting together the rankings of all the wrestlers. And uh, this was my coach. This was a guy that uh, uh, talked me into coming out for a sport, showed me a work, work ethic that was beyond nobody else's uh, uh, work ethic, uh, somebody I could look up to uh, uh, with moral values. Uh, he taught me a lot about uh, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. and. Uh, I think that had a lot to do with, uh, with uh, my success and uh, the opportunity to be up here with you tonight. 
and uh, just sharing the podium with the rest of these guys. Uh, Elmer uh, is uh, somebody that I can't say enough about, and somehow I think he probably should be inducted into the Hall of Fame, Len. You guys take that note down, because uh, he's a guy that uh, you don't want to overlook. Uh, later on, as I went through uh, high school, I uh, came in touch with a gentleman by the name of Bob Towers over at Sacramento City College. Uh, Bob became a friend, a mentor, a second dad. Uh, coaching uh, to him was, uh, it, it was more than coaching. I think most coaches, uh, um, we've learned that uh, we've got to be just about everything to these young men. And he was everything to me. And when he told me to do something, I did it, and I respected him for it. He always treated me fairly, and uh, I think a lot of the values and things that I learned about uh, life and wrestling and, and success and winning and losing. You know, it's not always about winning. You know, in life we lose. And uh, so I think wrestling has taught me a lot about that, and I think coaches like Bob Towers uh, were examples of that. Uh, as I look around at the Hall of Fame, uh, when I was in Woodland, uh, all I had to do was uh, go over to uh, UC Davis and see Bob Brooks. And Bob, I, I really uh, am honored tonight that I'm standing up here the same night you were up here because you were an outstanding coach. And uh, just looking at you and your program and the opportunity to bring my kids into your wrestling room and then the opportunity for me to go into Bob's wrestling uh, room when I was uh, 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 wrestling in Sac City. And just having the experience of seeing uh, uh, a program run by a, a top professional coach. Uh, so, Bob, I, I thank you for that, 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 uh, that honor. Um, I had a lot of assistance and a lot of people along the way that, you know, you don't get up here by yourself. Uh, winning uh, successes takes, takes a lot of help. Uh, junior high, all the way up through, uh, I was very fortunate to, to have uh, coaches underneath me that knew the sport. And so by the time kids got to me, uh, they, they already had the basics. Uh, the gentleman that's with me tonight, Jerry Corder, was a gentleman that helped me uh, uh, stay out of trouble. <laughs> I was single those days. And uh, so he would uh, mentor me and uh, point me in the right direction and a lot of times give me advice about uh, what was right and wrong. And sometimes I needed that. So uh, I thank him for that. And, uh, one of the reasons that I'm glad that he's presenting that award to me tonight is because uh, I, I looked up to that. And uh, uh, I was very, very fortunate to land in a school that from the bottom to the top, or the top to the bottom, was supportive of a wrestling program. Coaches do not win alone. It starts with the superintendent of schools and it goes right on down. And if you don't have that, you don't have it. And uh, I was very fortunate. I was blessed and put into a program that uh, God allowed me to work in. And thank, uh, thank goodness uh, things went as good as they did. And uh, I'm uh, just proud of the guys that showed up tonight. That's part of it. You know, the things that make uh, coaches feel good. And, uh, you know, we don't always just remember, you know, two-time state champions or, or uh, an Olympian. Uh, we remember those guys that... Uh, gave it everything they could, and then they had to say goodnight to you and thank you for having me, and uh, thank you very much.